Hello everyone, welcome back to Celasta Crown of the Magister. Last time we finished things in the volcano. And just before we get out on the road here, I'm going to take a short rest just to heal up what we can in case we get attacked by like a dragon on the road or, you know, any of that kind of terrible stuff. You're fine. You're doing good. You're really suffering. So, lots of hit dice for you. We'll save one spare. Do we need to arcane recovery? We probably should. Let's go... Oh, jeez. Um, let's just do five, then. And we're on our way. So, we should probably go back to town and, like, sell a load of the crap that we've accumulated and all of that kind of generalized admin. But the lava forest is right here. And it's so far back to get to Ker Keflin, you know? So... Let's just hop over. Three days. I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's just get through a long rest first. Then we can probably be a little bit more comfortable. All right, we are full rested. Orc Grimblade Raiders. Well, they look pretty familiar from where we were previously, but we should be able to cut them down with some ease. Alright, we got one up top with high initiative. There's the rest. There's two over there. Some, oh, there's one down here at the bottom. Induced disadvantage there. Thank you ever so much. Appreciate that greatly. Ah. Uh, you're invisible now, huh? Fine. So last time we got up to level 9 and we had a proficiency bonus increase at level 9. So that means all of our attack rolls and all of that stuff is now one higher than it was previously. So we can see here now we are plus 8 to hit with this blade. Which is not bad going, but is there anything else we would rather be doing over here? Uh, I think we could just shatter these two together over here. Eight and four. It's never as much damage as I want it to be. It's always like, I want it to be 22 or something. And it never is. Evelyn, get some of that going. Oh, Berserkers charge in. And they covered a lot of ground. Right, we're going to come over here and attack this Grimblade, I think. Especially because we have Bardic Inspiration. Let's go with a... Fourth level inflict wounds. We hit. We will strike. 13 bludgeoning plus 33 necrotic. And they're stunned. It's a good time. They do their little matching animations. After we stun. Over here. What do we think? What's going to be good? I do regret not preparing Blight just for situations like this where AoE is fine, but when you want to hit one thing particularly hard. But I guess what we can do is shocking grasp this guy with advantage because they're stunned as a melee attack. It's not big and shiny, but it doesn't always have to be. Induce disadvantage there. Did not help. Right, as for us, we'll take the uh, stunned attacks at advantage while they're available to us. Some light critical damage there. Over here. Third level smite for 19 radiant damage. Back to the top. This guy, lightning bolting. We don't get to counter that because either they're out of range or they were invisible when they cast it so we don't get the option but that's fine let's go after them with some saves plus five on their wisdom is not ideal 
So Evelyn, if they are in sight, let's just go for like a third level one of them. 32 HP. Identified shield. We will counter shield so we can get our attack in. Nine bludgeoning and 17 radiant damage. We can finish that off quite happily with a decent sized magic missile. Good, and then there was one Berserker remaining. They're going re re reckless, which means all of their attacks are at advantage. But it also means all of our attacks against them are at advantage. And one last strike should do it. Very nice. Tiny little stop along the road. I... I'm more interested in seeing what the other guy is holding. The shaman, because they might have spell scrolls and stuff. They do. They've got some serpentite and a dragon rose. Grab all of that. Come down here. Were we long resting or were we just on our way somewhere? I guess we're just going to carry on with this long rest. Alright, so... We'll sleep off that fight, get to the Cradle of Fire in the lava... Oh no, get to the Lava Forest, not the Cradle of Fire. Been there, done that bit. We're probably hoarding loads of food we don't need to be carrying because we have Create Food and Water. But after that fight, I anticipate we get into the area we're going to without further issue. Make some poison bolts, finally. We're going to have an extra long rest outside of here before we move into the zone itself. And we're in. Okay, well, we've got some lush green vegetation for once around these places, so... This kind of plant. One fewer thing to worry about. Can we attack this? That didn't work. How about just a classic firebolt? Yes, though it might come back. Also, this tree while we're here? Yes. Okay. I have memories of tree spiders around here somewhere. It's just behind this wall of vegetation. You think? Huh, that's comforting. And how do we get through? Slice just and dice. Pack and slash. Rinse and repeat until we're through. I've heard that before. A couple of hundred times since we started. Oh, come on, let's It's mo Man, these guys are getting on each other's nerves, aren't they? All right, we can't get round to there yet. The gem must be in this forest. One last effort and it'll be ours. Cut that down. Ha! Cut that down. Pop those plants. Thanks for the cutscene, just to make sure we really did see them. A trap. Another one. Arcana, Evo, Malmus. Right now, we're just kind of going the long way round to that container so, so that we can get the loot. Quiet, don't you think? Oh. Arcana, Evo, Malmus. I was just enjoying the quiet, and you had to go and point it out. It definitely doesn't ever end badly for us, does it? Right, so we can get over to this container. I'm hoping it has more than just food in it or something. Survey says, uh, a scroll of sleet storm. Not a bad one to find. There's 
something in webs over here. Jeez, lots of stuff in webs. We will get cautious and poke around a bit, I suppose. How badly can this go, really? I mean, in a manner of speaking, I kind of want more encounters just to get me to that level 12 cap most efficiently. I have no idea how excess XP will work when the DLC comes through. There's the spiders. I'm not going to get an attack off before this finishes, am I? No. Thought we expected this much. Crimson spiders, huh? And a bunch of them. Uh, these lines are not good for high up stuff. Two spiders there. Alright, they might be crimson spiders, but they are not resistant to fire damage, which is good. Induce disadvantage there. Good work. Oh, wow. That is a lot of attacks. Evelyn. If they are coming up to us to do this, I think Spirit Guardians will be fine. Let's do it at fourth level. Can't remember if they have ranged attack capabilities or not. Well, that answers that for me, doesn't it? At least we've got obnoxiously high AC at the moment. Um, Alright, well, these ones that are further away are going to be a long slog to kill, I imagine. Why are they rolling with disadvantage? Long-ranged attacks. It's fine by me. Nine radiant damage there. Uh, we failed a save. We use our bardic inspiration to get over that save. You can't win. Oh yes. Very nice. One down, four to go. God, they like spitting, don't they? They finally hit us on a 24. Um, can we get multiple in a fireball now? It's going to be much harder, I think. Yeah, that's not going to be great. I think that's two in a fireball right there. It was. They both failed. They only take 20 points of damage that time. Lots of ones. A real bad time for ones. Right, we are right up against this spider, so we don't want to use ranged attacks. So... Melee attacks it is. Nat one for a miss. Block this. Okay. What are we best spent doing with our bard? Great question. Can we? No, we cannot hideous laughter them. Fine. Can we moonbeam the tree? We can.
So that can sit there. Maybe we can scare them off. Five radiant damage. A miss there. Another miss there. And are they going to move off that tree? They are not. 18 radiant damage. Spirit Guardian's doing work. They're really not very efficient when attacking at range. You'd think they would all come in for melee attacks, but that's their prerogative, I guess. Alright, we'll save some of our smites for what might come. Good. God, what I wouldn't give for a little um, hellish rebuke right now. Most unfortunate that. Right. Evelyn, honestly, just hit the thing a bit. Thirteen damage on that one. Seven more there. I do remember the, the big high up ones being a chore now that I'm in the fight. Uh, Moonbeam can stay over there. All right, let's go after one of them as best we can. Eight psychic damage. 14 radiant damage. Thank you, Moonbeam. Maestro takes 12 acid damage. That one dies thanks to the AoE. Alright, we're just going to take the dodge action here because we want to kite attacks. But also, we're not really, even with our spears, we're not going to do much good trying to attack up the hill. Or up to the tree line, rather. So, we are just going to be attacking all of these ones in order as efficiently as we can between us, but it's going to be a bit of a slog. If they're not going to come down from the trees. Is there anything better I could be doing? Not really. Which is a damn shame. Psychic damage, doing decent work though. What is this symbol? Dodging, okay. Um, we've got no ranged damage spells as a paladin. Pure disease, sacred weapon, turn unholy, lay on hands. We just don't need it. We're just going to be in Cantrip City for a minute. So I'll tell you what, I'll pause the recording and just chew through this fight, and then we'll get back to it, unless something really goes terribly. Alright, that is over. That took a small age, but we got there. Give me all your acid and stuff. Is this sticky equipment actually anything we can collect now the fight's over? No. All right, let's take a short rest, mostly because I want to get my channel divinities back for Evelyn. Probably some light healing wouldn't go amiss as well. That'll be fine. Uh, while we're adventuring, we should definitely do this. Good. Right, now, where are we going? What are we doing? What's actually happening around here? We can ignore that one. At least we did get over 2,000 XP for that fight. Saving graces, I guess. I think my arm's about to drop off from all this hacking. Chop, don't talk. 
Come on, guys. Look. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, there's a big set of woods to work through. We understand. Like, we literally have the capacity for shooting fire out of our fingers and stuff. You wonder why they're so bothered. Such a wonderful coincidence to get us. Oh, I've heard. Okay, where are we even going? There's an unknown basket up there, a bunch of other bits that we can hack through around here. There's this bit behind us. Another trap. Arcana, Evo, Malmis. Uh, there's that trap that way, though I don't think we can walk in that direction, so not so bothered. I don't like it either. Oh, there's traps everywhere. Get to here. Hit that one. I need a hotkey just for like, I'm shooting firebolt at a thing, you know? Start with that one. Then that one. How about that one? Super. Oh, God. <laughs> Where did you come from? Okay, fire elementals and some skeletal knights and marksmen. Sure, sure, sure. Um, how big's this? One less big than I want it to be. I can't focus on the one tile that I definitely want to focus on. That's really annoying. Um, honestly? Shoot the marksman. They resist piercing damage. Good to know. Inspiration there. Maestro, I think we're going to get a little bit fireball-y at the back. Arcana, Evo, Malmis. Decent work. Are you going to set me on fire again and require me to put myself out? Alright, they did not fall jumping over that tiny ledge. Good. 102 HP. It's pretty significant for these guys. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? I didn't know you were invited to this party. You have your invitation. Okay, Evelyn. We are going to hit this guy with a warhammer because they will be vulnerable to it. Yes, double damage is incredible out of those. You lose. Great work. 17 down there, no bother. 17 again. 12, not bigger than 17. Good work, those guys. Right, spider or elemental first? Let's go after the little spider. We know how much HP this guy has. There's 20. There's another 14. Back to the top with Bella. Let's try... Stabbing this guy. Yeah, 17 on a crit is not bad. Uh, you can have some inspiration. Maestro's shielded wears off. And then from that... 
Can I grasp an elemental? Nice crit, 21 damage. I'll keep the shields up just because it'll also mean we won't have to spend a turn possibly extinguishing ourselves, which is more effort, case in point. Yes. 18 damage there. Don't know where this guy's going, but, you know, that's his prerogative. As for us now, we have Bardic Inspiration, so let's go for a second level Inflict Wounds right here. We hit, I will strike. Stunned, love to see it. 26 necrotic damage, love to see that too. Give me my end turn button, please. Appreciate that. Ow. That's a bad time. Still in the fight, my friend. Ow. Uh, let's finish this spider, I guess. Just one more of those. I'm sure we'll be fine. So close. Bella. Oh, there's one guy there. Finish the spider off, please. Thanks ever so much. As for us, this guy is stunned, so melee attacks. Ten lightning damage. Stunned. No longer stunned. Missing attacks over here. Oh dear. We're also on fire now. Love to see that. You have 18 health. That is too much to realistically magic missile. That's a bad time. That's better. Get a crit in. One HP remaining. Man, these marksmen are just relentless, aren't they? Someone should do something about them. Not me, obviously, but somebody else. Evelyn really taking the pain right now. We're going to go over to the actually healthy one. Start attacking over here. Me. Right, good work. Bella. Stab this guy. A bit dramatic, my guy. Just a smidge, you know. Um, marksman. Just get after it with cantrips. I have no idea when our next long rest chance is, and I'm really acutely aware of trying not to use all of our big spell slots on stuff. Like, we might be able to get out into the, uh, the main high street. Like, the main... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, like, the main trail to heal, but... I don't want it if I don't have to. But these guys are just wrecking us. Glad we didn't come through here at level 8. Glad we saved this one for level 9. Orkscar still on fire. Bend the knee or perish. 15 damage there is pretty damn good. 14 more doing solid work. Bella, you can probably get a little stab in here. Five hole damage. Good work. 
Maestro. This guy has 18 HP left and is going next. Uh, this is three darts, isn't it? I don't really want to cast it at fourth level, though. Don't use fire damage. That would be dumb. Four whole psychic damage. At least we get disadvantage on that. Oh, now we're on fire again. Nine HP down to seven. We're going to extinguish ourselves. This fight's really turning into a pain in the butt, isn't it? Oh, yes. Be further down. That's good for us. That's bad. It's going after Bella right now. Better than Evelyn. We're still on fire, but we're going to finish this guy right now. One more of those, and he's gone. Good. Just the marksman left. I should have run over to him. Twelve damage is solid. Maestro, we got no bludgeoning damage here, really. Evo Malmis. Six damage there, Evelyn. Cannot make that full run. Take the dodge action. You need it more than everyone else right now. Are you okay? Short sword, less worrying. And these funky necrotic arrows they keep shooting at us. Don't go over there. Is that 10 damage? Jeez. Alright, put yourself out. Push over in this direction. Bella, stab here. Good work, good work. Maestro, spell shield with Evelyn for 45 temporary HP. We can finally hit this guy with our hammer because that will do double damage as vulnerable. They're going after us because we're basically the only one they can see, but... We have temporary hit points for days. I can't get up there, really. I can dash over. Good jump. But this lava field just doesn't end, does it? Right, give me... Shadow Dagger over here. Even on a minus one, they succeed. Maestro. At least I'm not f worrying about being pushed into the river anymore. Hey, 19 damage. Solid. Evelyn. Sacred Friend to finish. So close. Good job. Better job. Yes. Pass. Okay. We get some decent XP. I'll gather all of this stuff up. There's some lava essence around here, I think. Yep. A jeweled ring. Bunch of armor. You can come up to this hollow tree stump because you can just walk up the bits of cliff. Although you are not doing well for carry weight. It's a problem. It's not how I anticipated you getting over there, but sure. Uh. 
One gold piece. Wow. Okay. Gather everyone here. Because, oh boy, we need a short rest. Absolutely need a short rest. Uh, roll, 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 roll. Roll, 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 roll. Roll, 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 roll. Good. Arcane recovery. Five. Give me three and one and one. Give me... Use power, lay on hands here for like 25. I owe you one. Right. There's a trunk over there. We probably want to be working in that general direction, I think. We can go up that way as well. Oh, well, these sections don't quit, do they? Which one? That one? They're not going to grow back. We'll just keep popping them. Get over to here. Can I hit that tree from here? I can. That's set off a trap, which I'm absolutely fine with. That's a different looking one, isn't it? Right. Um, stand here a second. Because we are currently very encumbered because we didn't bother to go back to where we started. And all this heavy stuff is really preventing us from carrying as much stuff as I would like here. Can't just sort by weight, which is kind of annoying. It's like, what if this is really going to be that heavy? Lava stones? No. The food is usually pretty heavy as it goes. But you've got, like, carrying capacity for days. All right, Maestro. Come check out this Provided you don't get yourself fallen in lava. Crafting manual, Aaron's light poisoned bolts. Then, can you not get back? Oh wait, you can get back. You're just thinking about it. Smash that down. Come on up. Where are we even getting to is the other half of this question, isn't it? Another tree trunk. Five arrows. There's a trunk there. We started all the way back here. We've got not had a fast travel point in the bunch. That looks kind of promising. Uh, where are we? We're here. Come back to there, then. I'm not going to worry about every tree trunk around these parts. Uh. Oh, we should... We should probably... Actually... Make sure no one's going to get crushed by it. And then just do that, and that should fall towards us. Cool. That will let us down to grab this. We won't be fooled so easily. Oh, that's a trap as well, is it? Fine. Arcana, Evo, Just some acid. Can we climb up here? We yes. Won't be so easily. Good. Can we hit that back there? Because that will knock some of this out for us, I think. And we'll do that one over there as well. Damn, a trap. 
I'm not very good at getting us with these traps. Not like Boulder's Gate Enhanced Edition that is just an absolute nightmare of getting trapped when you don't even realize it's occurring. Right, there's a tree over there, but we can walk over here. This looks hopeful. A real little goblin. Right, my brain thinks this is a trap and a fight. So, we're going to say thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing and hitting that like button. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, you can put those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.